A second type of gating, where needles are placed opposite each other, is interlock gating. This results in different performance. In interlock gating, cylinder and dial needles are spaced so they're directly opposed. To prevent needles from hitting each other during the knitting cycle, opposing needles are not selected at the same time. When needle 1 in the cylinder is knitting, the corresponding needle 1 in the dial must rest. This is achieved by the alternating needles in the dial and the cylinder never being activated at the same time. This requires two cam tracks for both needle beds. Therefore, the location of the butts on the needle shank must be in two positions. Most commonly used are butts in short and long configurations, as seen in this illustration. Needles with long and short butts are alternately arranged in the cylinder and also in the dial. During each feed or course of yarn, only half the needles are used. On course one, only needles with long butt positions knit, those placed in odd positions of the cylinder and even positions of the dial. On the second course of yarn or feed, the short butt position needles knit, in even positions of the cylinder and in odd positions of the dial. Two feeds are required to complete a full visual course of interlock knit, whereas in one by one rib knitting, only one feed is required to make a visible course. Look at the resulting structure of an interlock fabric. Follow one course across different whales and you will see a complex knit. Remember that two feeds are required for one course of knit. This first colored yarn knits on odd dial and even cylinder needles. The second colored yarn knits on odd cylinder and even dial needles. Because loops interlock and alternate from the front to the back, the structure of interlock fabric is much more rigid and stable than that of a rib. At closer inspection, you can see that interlock is the meshing or interlocking of two one-by-one -one rib courses. This prevents adjacent whales from having mobility. Different double-knit constructions can be made on rib and interlock gated machines. Needle selection by mechanical and or electronic systems, along with yarn selection, determines the design effect. A variation of an interlock knit can be used to produce a structure that is tight and stable, where one course of fabric is attached and interlocked while the next is not. Ponte di Roma, used for women's dresses and suits, is an example of this. This fabric has the same appearance on both sides. Here's the notation for this type of fabric. During the first two feeds, the machine knits interlock. With the third feed, the machine knits jersey on only the cylinder needles. At feed four, jersey is knit on only the dial needles. It takes four yarn feeds to make two visual courses. Although it is smooth, Ponte di Roma has a slight horizontal rib appearance and is thicker and more stable than interlock. 